All right, what's up, everybody? It's Ash Wednesday. I'm at Tofano's. It's in Little Italy. You see the sign right there. Uh, so this place has been around for 90 years. It's a Chicago institution. And last year, I posted a blog that it is the most Chicago, most Italian Ash Wednesday experience you could ever have. Let's roll the tape. You got people getting ashes above Blackhawk sweaters. It's unbelievable. I had to go get a piece of the action. So the father's running late, though, so he's got like five minutes. He's literally waiting for me to get my ashes. So let's run in there real quick. Let's get the ashes and let's see what's going on. Listen, I don't want to hear no shit. I see the boot. You guys can see the boot. Don't wear ultra boots when you're trying to walk in fucking freezing cold uh, snow. I shouldn't be swearing. I'm about to go see father. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, I broke the ankle, so. Let's just get it out of the way quick. Hallelujah, cambiamo, che con Cristo noi andiamo, che tu sei Salvatore, incarnato per noi redentore. O benigno, Signore, che per lo peccatore, tuo sangue hai rezzato, fa sentire quanto è passato. Hallelujah. So you need to go to confession? I don't think so. If you're doing that too, it's a two for one, we'll take that. Who do you like doing the ashes over most? We got Hall, Savard, Wilson, what do you think? Is that, that brings out the moment, huh? Oh yeah, I think Hall. Do you think, uh, is this the best train of the year? What is it, you get some ziti, you do some ashes, rub some dirt, and you're good? Yeah. See? But you gotta do follow up, you know, live as good as you can. Yeah, for sure, see? But this is what you do, like, you're not going to Olive Garden if they give you ziti, right? Only Tofano's? Oh yeah, see? Only come to Tufano's every year. This is my 25th year of coming here. What did, what did you have for, did you have for dinner? Did you, did you just I'm taking dinner yeah. with me. There tilapia. you go. Tilapia, no meat. There no you go. Meat. Tilapia, no meat. There that's you go. Right. No, that's the, that's the best, Father. Thank you very much. What parish are you from? St. John Birchman's in Birch Logan Square. Awesome. Well, thank you, Father. This is great. Great ambiance. I really appreciate it. Okay. Well, thank you. God bless you. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right, so we're inside. I got my ashes. We're here with Joanne, we're here with Darcy, third generation, fourth generation. How many years here? 90. 90 years, that's a long time. Well, like one of the last OG standing, huh? Yeah, we were original, well, the 17th oldest restaurant in Chicago. How did the ashes start? I saw the video last year and I said, I gotta put this on my calendar, I gotta make sure I come back next year. Father Pat's been doing it for 25 years because he was the priest for a UIC campus, which is where we're located. He was down the street and he's become like our family priest. He got me married, my sister married, baptized our kids, does funerals, everything for our family. Communion to all, yeah. to all the Chardons, our, my grandmother, my aunt, my mother, when they were yeah, all, all sick, he, he takes care yeah. of all the, he just would come and take care of us all. Hey, what's the deal here? Do you like promote this or is this friends only? Friends and family only and for any customers that are here the day of. And the cooks. And the cooks, of course. The cooks, they gotta get the ashes too. They're, they're working and they come get their ashes too. They're working hard back there. So you don't do like a deal, carry out, get an ash, $10 uh, eggplant, Parmesan, nothing like that? No, no, just whoever wants it. Anyone's welcome. We all know we're here doing yeah. this. I know, that's like the first step, I think, to becoming, uh, you know, to tell the girls, hey, we'll get the ashes, we'll do some on Merlot. That's like the first step to become Carmelo Soprano. <laughs> like it's 100%, that's the first step. So good, no, and then everything else, how's everything going? I know obviously it's probably tough. We're yeah, it's been yeah. tough. The weather hasn't helped. The weather hasn't helped any of the restaurants. Yeah, they just open hard. us up, and then we get hit with the bad weather. But yeah. we're just trying to ride the wave of uh, COVID and just doing the best we can. And like I said, it's been in our family for fourth genera four generations, and we'll do whatever it takes to make it through. I love that. And then carry out. You guys are open for carry out? Curbside. We'll bring it right out to your car. You don't have to get out of your car. Very safe. Whatever, whatever level of comfortability you're at, We'll match it. There we go. Perfect. Go check it out. Tofano's. What's the address? 1073. 1073. Go check it out. <laughs> West Vernon Park. Go check it out right by Taylor Street, Little Italy. You got to go. Meat. Yes. Got let's meat. go do it. No meat. No meat. That's how you know it's real legit. We got Guy Fury in the house. So part of the Tofano's experience as well is a chalkboard. No menus here at all, huh? Oh, no. No menus. It's how it's been forever. And about 10 years ago, I was waitressing and a lot of the customers were complaining they couldn't read the menu. So I went up to my dad and I was like, Dad, the customers can't read the menu. We gotta get new chalkboards. And he goes, oh no, absolutely not. These chalkboards are original and they're staying. And I'm like, oh, how can I make this better? 
So on a Monday when we were closed, I went to Home Depot and I bought chalkboard paint. And I came and I wiped on every single chalkboard and I repainted the chalkboards with two coats of chalkboard paint, which was great. It took me all day. Then the next day when I came to work, I go, oh my God, I gotta rewrite these boards. So it took me about two days to handwrite each chalkboard. And I go, you know what? I'm adding my own special on there. So we added the D&D special after me and my twin sister, Deesa and Darcy. And it was our dish that we liked to eat that was always like a hidden menu item. And it was shells and a vodka sauce with peas. And she'd get a half order, and then I'd come and finish her order, and then I'd go back and get another one, and then she'd finish that one. So I added it to the menu, and people love it. How many people are so thrown off when they walk in, and they're like, hey, where's the menu? Well, we don't have one. A lot of people are <laughs> expecting a paper menu, but in this time, you know, the chalkboards are COVID friendly, so it's a win-win. Did you try to do the picture QV thing, or was, it, was your dad like, no way? Are you not? <laughs> We're not doing We're not a QV call. <laughs> no, you won't, you won't. There's no That's way. That's not happening. But a lot of people who sit at this table, you know, we have a lot of stories. There was once this lady here, and she goes to her husband, you know, everyone's looking at me. Do I look extra good tonight? And he goes, honey, you're sitting under the menu. <laughs> and she looked up. Oh, they're looking at the menu. They're not looking at me. That's awesome. That's yeah. so old school. I and love it. And they still come here to eat. Do they? So yeah. it's every time it's like, yeah. there's the menu lady? Uh-huh. Oh, She's no. the best. Yeah. That's awesome. So, no, this is so cool. It's so part of the experience. So it's just so, I just love that your dad's so Italian and yeah, stuck in his I, ways. Yeah. <laughs>